Hello, this is Christine Robinson with West Virginia University Department of Emergency Medicine and today we're going to talk about how to differentiate gallbladder polyps from gallbladder stones on ultrasound. So just a quick review of gallbladder polyps. They're lesions on the gallbladder wall which are usually incidentally found on abdominal imaging. Polyps are actually pretty frequent and can be seen in up to 7% of the population. About 95% of them are benign and cholesterol polyps are most frequently identified in patients between 40 to 60 years old. Malignant ones are usually adenocarcinoma. Something to remember, malignant polyps are usually greater than 10 millimeters and typically have internal vascularity. All polyps can be associated with biliary pain. Gallstones are formed from crystallization of bile and occurs in approximately 10% of the population. In the U.S., 75 to 80 percent of the gallstones are of the cholesterol type. On ultrasound, polyps are usually less than 10 millimeters. They're single or multiple echogenic foci which do not cast a shadow. They're adherent to the wall and are immobile or fixed, so they won't move when you turn a patient to their left side. Gallstones, on the other hand, are single or multiple echogenic foci found within the gallbladder lumen that cast an acoustic shadow and they have gravity-dependent movement, so they roll with the change of patient positioning. This is sometimes called rolling stone sign. Another cool thing is that they may demonstrate a twinkle artifact on color Doppler. Here are some examples of gallbladder polyps on ultrasound. Again, notice echogenic foci without shadowing. Video one, there's the polyp. This one has a couple of polyps, right there and right there. A few polyps down here as well. And look, no shadowing. Remember, gallstones create an acoustic shadow. Multiple gallstones, and look at that nice shadow. Here, tiny, tiny, tiny stones. Lots of them, and at the end, look at all that nice shadowing right there. A couple of big stones, and shadow, shadow. This one, lots of stones again, acoustic shadowing. Remember, if we turn the patient to their left side, we'd see these stones move around. So, what do you think? Polyp or stone? Stone right? See, here's your gallbladder filled to the brim with stone and look at that shadowing it creates. How about this one? Gallbladder polyps. Echogenic foci. Really don't see any acoustic shadowing, right? And this? That's right, gallbladder polyp. That echogenic area right there, no acoustic shadowing. So how do you manage gallbladder polyps? Well, if they're less than or equal to six millimeters, you don't need any further work follow-up. Six to nine millimeters, patients should have it imaged every three to six months to monitor the size. If the polyp is greater or equal to 10 millimeters or they're having biliary colic, they're going to need a surgical consultation. To recap, polyps are adhered to the wall of the gallbladder and are immobile and cast no shadow, while stones are located within the gallbladder lumen, are mobile and cast a shadow. Most polyps are benign, and if they're greater than or equal to 10 millimeters, the patient will need a surgical consult. So that's it. Hope you enjoyed the brief video and send your comments or questions to me by email or give me a tweet.